Ask anybody who drove into work this morning and it was like bumper cars out there, cars sliding everywhere, often into each other. News 13's Jeannie Nguyen is live at Coors in Paseo with a look. Jeannie. Dean, I spoke to a lot of drivers today who say they saw a lot of crashes happen on the road. The icy conditions had people driving 5 to 10 miles per hour and taking different routes than they're used to. As we were coming here, we just wanted to slide a little bit and we couldn't get down that one or the next one. Because people got stuck going up the hills. As you can see from the video right here, a few crashes happened this morning on lead. Police helped a driver who crashed into a light pole. APD says they responded to 98 crashes from midnight to 10 this morning, and 16 of those were reported as injury crashes. Police say they see this every time the roads are icy from a storm because drivers don't take their time. Taking turns too fast or their stopping distance is not enough and people slide into each other. Um, another factor we've been seeing is uh, these hills, especially in the northeast area, uh, they get icy and the cars aren't able to get up the hills, so then they slide back down the head of the cars. Semi trucks were also no match for the ice this morning. As you can see here, police helped two trucks that hit each other on I 40 and Wyoming. That crash caused a backup on westbound I 40 all the way back to Eubank. And right off the I 25 exit at, at Cesar Chavez, a white truck took the ramp too fast and slid. A scary situation as a driver of the red car made the same mistake and crashed right into the truck. Now, police want to remind drivers to take it easy tonight and tomorrow morning because the roads could be icy again. Dean, back to you. All right, some good advice, Jeannie. Thank you. Albuquerque and Rio Ranch.